Happy Friday, Glads. I'm Marissa Trehill. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. College visits are dominating the Counseling Center news. Mark your calendars for these college rep visits. Next week on Thursday, Adams State reps plan to be here, and then the Lamar Community College reps want to talk to you next Friday, February 23rd. If you're interested in modeling and acting, check out the visit on Monday, the 26th, when the Barbizon Modeling and Acting School reps will be here at lunch. Closing out our February visits is CU Denver on the 28th. Remember, it's never too early to start shopping around for your next academic step. Be sure to have a pass from the Counseling Center. If you had a PPCC help you with your application yesterday, congratulations. Remember, they'll be back on Wednesday, April 11th to help you register for classes. Seniors, remember next Friday, February 23rd, is the deadline to submit your Fountain Valley Scholar Scholarships applications to Miss Abeda in the Counseling Center. And lastly for seniors, Kiri Carmody is waiting for your senior photos for the senior slideshow and yearbook. Please make sure your photos are seniors only. Coming up, we're checking in with Miss Betsy in the cafeteria for today's lunch menu. Happy Friday, everybody. Today we're having mandarin chicken. Come on down and see us. It's really good. Please enjoy your three-day weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, remember to add money to your lunch account by going online or seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria. NHS members, you have a mandatory meeting today at lunch. If you are unable to attend, please see Miss HK or Brandon Parrott prior to the meeting. GLADS, district talent show auditions will be held on March 1st in the band room from 3 to 5. They're looking for individual and group performers, bands, dance troops, and drama or comedy routines. Contact Miss Miller for more information. When we come back, we'll have club news and fundraisers. But first, we're throwing it to Ethan Simon for our Gladiator Sports Update. Happy pre-three-day weekend, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon with your Gladiator Sports Update. Spring sports start practices in two weeks. If you haven't picked up your yellow card from the main office, now would be a good time to do that. Remember, you also need to have a current physical on file. Don't wait until the day practices start. The line gets crazy long. The forensics team is headed to regionals this Saturday. Good luck to all participating team members. NJROTC cadets, get your outside guest forms for the military ball in the main office. The deadline to return those is March 1st, just two weeks away. Get yours early to ensure your date can attend the ball. Glads, we have five wrestlers competing in the state competition this weekend in Denver. Good luck to all those wrestlers at the big show at the Pepsi Center. Ladies interested in getting some playtime before the season starts, Ms. Sardina is holding a kick around in the small gym next Wednesday, February 21st from 6 to 8 p.m. Hope to see you there. Pitchers and catchers reported for training camps this week, and that means Major League Baseball is just around the corner. To kick off our WHS baseball program this season, the team is having a flapjack fundraiser on Sunday, February 20. For $10 per person, players will be serving you breakfast at Applebee's on Highway 8587, 8 to 10 a.m. See any baseball team member or stop by the main office to buy your ticket. And now, here's Doc with your health tip of the week on heart health. Hey guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. So it's February and we're going to be talking about heart health. Your resting heart rate is really important. Your resting heart rate should be around 70 to 80 beats per minute for most of you. The lower your resting heart rate is, the healthier your heart is because it has to beat for your whole life. So how do we make it lower? Well, we can do this with exercise, going out for a walk, getting at least 20 minutes of exercise every day, walking back and forth to class, going up and down the stairs, all of that counts. Another thing we can do for our heart is to reduce the amount of sodium that we take in. Sodium is salt, so things like fries and chips, we can avoid those. Some good things for our heart, dark chocolate. So it's Valentine's coming up, eat a little bit extra dark chocolate and keep your heart happy. Thanks Doc. Next week Doc will be talking about safe weight loss. Hey -o. The Ultimate Frisbee team will begin practices on Tuesday, February 20th. If you would like to play or need more information, please see Mr. Nella in room 116 or Mr. Wallace in room 4. And now here's a fundraising film for the Student Athletic Training Fundraiser. Suck, suck. Who's there? Police. Police who? 
Please remember to pre-order your Gladiator socks today. See your friendly neighborhood doc by February 21st in the front lobby to buy socks. So just myself for $15. Oz Pro Night, mate. Yay! You only have until next week, Wednesday, to order your Gladiator socks. Order yours today. And finally, in basketball news, our teams took on the Canyon City Tigers last night. And here's how they did. The ladies lit up Bowers Gym last night and scorched the Tigers. Our Glads traveled to Canyon City, and despite the cold temps, they managed to heat up the court for the 13th win in a row. Basketball regional playoffs start next week. There are many moving parts and math involved in brackets, so stay tuned for more information on games. However, you may want to prepare to pack the house on Tuesday to cheer our Lady Glads in their first game. We'll have more playoff information for you on Wednesday. That's it for our Gladiator Sports Update. Good luck to all our athletes this week. I'm Ethan Simon, and now back to you, Marissa and Kieran. Thanks, Ethan. Students, if you want or need to talk to someone privately and free, text the word TALK to this number to reach a mental health professional to to share what's on your mind. Remember, Below the Surface is a free private counseling service, especially for teens. Check out the posters on campus for more information. If you lost something on campus, someone probably brought it to the business office. Please stop by the lost and found bin and reclaim your stuff. The bin is overflowing and items not claimed will be donated soon. Teachers, golden tickets are in your hands and it's time to give them away. Students, if you got a golden ticket, boxes will be available in Mr. Shub's office today. Here's Mr. Shub to show you some of the gifts you could win. Hey guys, it's Mr. Shub here. Just wanted to talk to you about golden tickets and what they mean and what you can win if you get a golden ticket. Golden tickets are for those kids who do the right thing all the time from the beginning of the year all the way until now. What that means is you just have to be doing the right thing all the time and have your teachers recognize that. All right, guys, when you get your golden ticket, you're going to come down to the main office with your golden ticket. You're going to talk with Miss Price. She's going to have you come talk to me, and then you will get to put your golden ticket into one of these boxes. We'll have more boxes available for more prizes. However, please come to the main office with your golden ticket and deposit it into the box that you hope to win. Some of the items that you guys will have an opportunity to win for a golden ticket at our NHS assembly on February 26th seventh is what you'll see behind me. We've got a big screen TV that's a, a 4K 50 inch TV. We've got Beats wireless headphones. We've got a one terabyte PS4. We've got painting with a twist. We've got four box seats. We've got prom tickets. A couple of sets of those. We've got a yearbook and in addition to that we've got many many more things. I just want to encourage you to continue to demonstrate power throughout the remainder of the school year. Hopefully earn one of those wonderful golden tickets and have an opportunity to win one of these great prizes and be recognized in front of the entire student body. Prizes will be awarded at the assembly on February 27th. Don't wait. Put your ticket in a box. Attention NJROTC cadets. The military ball is three short weeks away and ladies, it's time to start scheduling those appointments to check out the dresses in Becca's closet. See Ms. HK in the library or Ms. Molina in room 111 to schedule your appointments. Remember, the dresses are yours to keep. Teachers and staff, remember, this is the last day for the Purple Toilet fundraiser. It was stuck in Miss Everwine's room yesterday, but she was able to flush it out of her room quickly. Remember, all funds benefit pennies for puppies. The library is having another contest this month, celebrating everyday heroes. Check out a book this month to be entered to win prizes. Don't delay. Check out a book today. The library also wants to remind everyone to return any overdue materials you may have hiding in your locker, car, backpack, or under the bed. This is a good time to pay any late fines so you don't get put on conditions in IC. The yearbook is having a hat day today. Every student who bought a hat band will be entered in a drawing for a yearbook coupon and other cool prizes. And finally, here's a shout out to some of our teachers from their students. This reverse power ticket goes out to all the secretaries in the building. They do such an amazing job of taking care of the staff. They drop everything to take care of our needs and manage to stay friendly in the midst of all the madness. Thank you all for everything you do for us. Hi, I'm Chloe Nelson. My reverse power ticket goes out to Mr. Nell, and I just wanted to thank him for being such a wonderful teacher and caring at caring for his students as an individual and not just like a student. And I'm always looking forward to his class because He's just such an amazing teacher. I just want to thank you for that. Hi, my name is Adam and my teacher is Miss Lacey and she is a really great teacher and she helps me understand stuff I don't. My name is Lexi and my teacher's name is Miss Hines. She helps me understand everything and is always kind to everybody. 
Remember, you can give your teacher a shout out by filling a reverse power card and dropping it in the bin by the attendance office. That's all our news today. Have a great long weekend. I'm Mr. Trahill. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. Remember, we're off on Monday. <laughs>